This is an exclusive. Yes. An E News you. exclusive. Um, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. So do you. I'm so excited about this movie. Yeah. What is it like to have part of your life, kind of an emotional time of your life, put on a film? Um, it's really humbling, to be honest with you, because. I wrote this book originally, and it's a very personal book. Yeah. If you want to find out how messed up I am, just read my book. <laughs> it's also very healing, because I did go through hell, and uh, to have people laughing, laughter is the best form of medicine, yeah. I'm very lucky. Yeah, no, you made this a very comedic movie, yeah. which was on purpose. Why was that important to you? Well, I sort of looked at it, that first of all, it's based on a true story, which is my story. It's not the Ken Baker story. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff ripped right from the pages of my memoir that are very true. A lot of it is just kind of fun and they just set up different scenes, which is great. Um, but I think that it was kind of funny once I got healthy. Being yeah. sick was not funny. I mean, in retrospect, some of it was funny, but it was really getting healthy and being kind of this pubescent maniac and realizing like, whoa, is this what puberty is? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm rushing with testosterone. This is not okay. I'm a disaster. It just seemed that comedy was the best way to get to the story. Yeah, what do you hope fans will take away from it? I hope that people laugh uh, and then the next time they see me doing the E! News update, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, Ken Baker's a total disaster. Did that really happen to yeah, him? Yeah, it did. I'm a mess. Back to you guys. <laughs> How did you explain to your kids the story of this film? Um, well, I, I'm like anyone, I don't want to have the birds and the bees talk. So I actually took my son to a screening of the movie. Okay. I'm like, here's the birds and the bees. Uh, things are going to happen to you. <laughs> Hopefully now, or in a year, not like when you're in your 20s. They, they, they know me, and I'm very open with them, and uh, it's the only way to live. So you know you're really good friends with the Kardashians. What yeah. do you think Kim and Chloe are going to think of the film? You know, what's interesting is that they actually wanted to be here, and they all texted me and emailed uh, before this whole incident. Obviously, they're going to see it. I'm sending them a screener link, and I think... Um, Kim could use some humor right now yeah. to help her get through all this. So uh, she's going to be seeing the late bloomer this week, hopefully. What's up, guys? I'm Juliana Rancic, and you're watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.